What would you do if you didn't care about being a good person? What would you do if you didn't care about anybody but yourself? Now, this kind of thought, immediately I think of, well, that's what, that's something bad people would do. And you know, that's, that's uh, psychos that think like that, that are just purely selfish. So I immediately have this reaction of, you know, I don't want to think like that. I don't want to be a psycho. I don't want to be some kind of evil person. So the, something kind of stops me from comfortably thinking that way. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's good to avoid being a psycho uh, and avoid being evil. That seems like it might be a good idea. But on the other hand, it seems like there might be some value in letting ourselves think that way. Because this, this notion of, you know, I want to be good, I don't want to be bad, uh, I, you know, I want to make moral, ethical decisions, it can be a very heavy weight. It can be very heavy. I mean, it can be it, this conscience, this idea, you know, judging ourselves, judging the ethics and morality of everything we do, that can be very heavy. And of course, we can bear it righteously and say, you know, this is, this is what it takes to be a good person and I want to be a good person. And it may be, in fact, it's a very good idea. But as a thought experiment, it might be useful to imagine lifting that requirement just to see what would I do if I didn't care about those things? What if I didn't care about being moral and ethical? What if I was a supervillain? Imagine if I was evil, I was a villain. And you don't have to add evil things like, oh, you know, I want to kill people or something because, you know, just you're just adding this like things that villains would do. You don't have to add anything that a villain would do and just like, make up stuff that a villain would do. But imagine if you didn't care about not being a villain, what would you do? If you only cared about yourself or whatever you choose to care about minus any concerns about morality and ethics. Yeah, it immediately starts to get uncomfortable, I find, and maybe that's a good sign for anybody that, you know, has a conscience and wants to behave ethically. Maybe it should be a little bit uncomfortable to imagine removing that conscience just as a thought experiment. But I think there's value in it because we can uncover certain things that maybe we're, we're kind of pushing down. And I think for many people, this, this is going to be very different for each person. Uh, maybe some people, they're like, what's a conscience? You know, uh, that's normal for me. You know, what other people? Well, that's not my problem. You know, so some people, this might not even be significant at all. But I think for many people, they're, they're so concerned about not hurting other people, about being kind and helpful to other people. And also, you know, how we're being, being seen as a, as a good person and, and by others and also by ourselves, just this, you know, living up to this uh, ethical, moral ideal. For many people, this is really a heavy weight that pushes down on our desires. So our desires can be seen, you know, I, I can't be concerned about what I want. Yeah, I might want this and that, but I have responsibilities, I have duties, I have obligations, I have things that I need to do, uh, the people that depend on me, and all those things can, I mean, those are very strong requirements that fill up our way of looking at things, and in some cases, maybe not leaving much for ourselves. So, I like to imagine this thought experiment. Start with imagining you have no conscience, no ethics, no morality, you don't care, you're, it's, you're purely you're, you can be a villain, not you're, tr not, 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 not you're trying to be a villain, but just that you don't care if you're a villain. You just, you just, whatever you want. Just imagine what you want, regardless of any concerns about what's right. Just as a, as a picture of some part of yourself. And imagine what you want. 
and then add the layers of ethics, what is right, uh, the, the needs of other people that you want to support, and all the other concerns that come up, and layer those on, so adjust as necessary. So, you know, you start, you can say, you know, uh, I want to be uh, an international pirate uh, and, you know, and uh, some kind of mastermind criminal or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, you could say, well, you know, probably that's not a good idea uh, for this and that reason. Um, and so you, so you start to, you know, I actually don't want to hurt anybody. You know, I don't want to, uh, you know, cause all these all this chaos and uh, you know I don't I don't want to have all the uh, my, my own legal issues and uh, besides it's not even I mean for most people that are ethical it's just it's not fun to actually hurt people it doesn't feel good to hurt other people so we, we put all these all these uh, requirements and all these adjustments on our behavior and then maybe what we come up with is back to where we started to the way we are anyway. But maybe there are some adjustments that we can make to live closer to this kind of unhinged, wild uh, desire that we have. Maybe there's some adjustments we can make to be closer to that while still being within the bounds of what we consider to be right. So by, by starting with that blank slate morality and just like, and, and, and leaving it out, subtracting it and then adding it back in, we can maybe see how it fits in. So I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Is this a terrible idea? This is possibly my worst idea ever. Uh, it may lead to some bad things, uh, but you know, it's a thought experiment. So I'd love to hear how it goes and what you think of it.